right? Shalom, Rastafari. This is another vid um, here in this series right here. I've been going for maybe about 10, 11 hours now, and now this is going to be another, yeah, about maybe 20, 22 minutes or so. So let's get right into this. This is the High Times magazine right here that we pointed out before. It, it asks the question, did the soccer accident really cause Bob Marley's death? Now, the um, person who presented this shoe that had some sort of a, a pin in it, that had some sort of a, a, um, a poison on it, actually was the son of some CIA man. You know, it was because Bob Marley basically was considered at this very time to be one of the most dangerous, you know, one of the most dangerous men in the world. That's the Nazi scientist or the Nazi doctor. You understand? Uh, excuse me on this right here. I made the wrong uh, click right here. You know, I want to save this cover. We have this magazine, um, and you can check out the article. I guess we have the article right here, right? So they asked right here, was it really, um, was it really, uh, a soccer accident, but then it goes into some detail. Even his mother, may God bless her soul, um, she even spoke about this as well. Let's see what's going on right here. She even spoke about this as well. All right. So um, on the on, on the previous the series that you're going to see, where we basically take apart some disinformation that's out there, we actually see that they have a link claiming and stating that, let's see if we can find this right here, claiming and stating that um, Bob Marley, right, claiming that Bob Marley, uh, um, Bob Marley is a false prophet and Rastafari and Bobo Shanti is a false prophet. So make sure you, you know, share this with your, your brother and sister. And now there's things that, of course, we have to, you know, of course we have to grow. You understand, we as Rastafari, and I think that's where the real judgment, in other words, really comes to us, is that we um, have to grow. Here's a picture of the marriage, of um, Bob Marley's marriage when they were young, um, him and uh, Rita, right? But now, let's look at the, let's look at the accuser. You understand, let's, let's, let's deal with the accuser for a moment, right? The accuser of I and I brethren. Mm-hmm. And it says in the latter day and time, the accuser of I and I brethren, you know what I'm saying, is Satan. So here's the same page that we had dealt with before. It's called Torah Code 2012 by someone named Midbar uh, Nesher, right? They even quote one of our favorite Psalms, 119, 105, where it says, Noon, your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path, all right? So let's go down here. Here it speaks about uh, uh, the Freemasonry reggae of Babylon. What? The Freemasonry, worried of the Freemason, Mason point, biblical, you understand, using the word or utilizing it as that lamp for us in the previous part of the series. So it says right down here, it says, uh, check these hidden words. Right? Yeah. Another more suggestion. Remember what the hundredth chapter of the Kivra Nagas, the Queen of Sheba and only some Menulik, so you can understand what these what these type of entities and people, you understand, are up to, especially in this time. So it says, check out these hidden words yourself about the name of the false prophet Bob Marley. Mm hmm So now because people are waking up, you understand that Babylon is the vampire. Now you have these individuals that now try to stick their, um, their, their European Freemasonic logo on it. It's not bad enough that they already did what they did with the Bob Marley songs, you understand, and how the judge of the grudges, you know, reinterpreted these contracts and how all this money is going out there to Europe and Germany and others in, in the Universal Music Group and all that, you understand, and the family. You know, understand, and even the fans or the, you know, the brother and the sister, and if we try to post Bob Marley's music, they basically took all the copyright restrictions on the song. Because remember what Bob said? Bob said the music is like a heavy duty, you know what I'm saying? It's like a heavy duty, uh, what, hammer, a heavy duty machinery. Now, here's the so called hidden words. I don't know if you can see this well. It's some really childish kind of stuff. 
where now they take the B and skip the O, take the B, they skip the M, they take the A, they skip the R, they take the L, they, they take the E, they skip the Y, and they say Bible. All right? Then they do the same thing, excluding the R and the E out of Marley, and say Babylon, Babylon, not Babylon. You see, in Hebrew, that would be a whole different thing. So it says Torah code, but it's not really Torah. I don't know if these people can even read the Torah. You understand? Even the Babylonian Torah. All right? Then in the, in the next one, in the third one right here, here's what they do. They include the O. They take out the, the M, the A, the R. They don't say Omar. They can say Omar, but they say Roma. All right? Roma. All right? Now they take the O, they take the M, the R, and they take the, the E, and they say Rome. Remember, they said this is hidden words. You understand? Check out these hidden words yourself. Now, we, we dealt with the other um, funny title, funny article, um, how the Selassie was a Freemason and put a question mark there. We already tore that apart, broke that down, and also a revelation was given to us, hallelujah, to the Ab in the name of Yeshua, name of Gitai, Jesus Christos, right? Um, but now let's look, at the, let's look at this for a moment within the couple of minutes we have here. We might return to this particular reasoning, but let's just lay out something right here. Now, it says Bob Marley down there, right? So they take the A and the R, and instead of saying R, they, put, they reverse it. So they do a lot of scramble mix-up. There's no real science to this. This is not scientific. This is not no Torah code. I mean, this is false, misleading advertisements, right? Now, down here, they say that Ra is the ancient um, Egyptian sun god. No, it's not. It's Re. You understand the contraction of Re, which is Hebrew, or Ra'i, which means vision. When the sun come up, one has vision to see. That's basically the idea right there. But they go down here and they say the eye of Ra. This is not the eye of Ra from ancient Egypt. It's supposed to be a movie or something. You can tell how they do this. This is not the right angle. Neither is this. Neither is this. You have to remember that Tehuti basically broke that down when his, when his uh, um, evil uncle, you know what I'm saying, tried to um, molest him, tried to rape him. It's like what white supremacy has done. Right? But anyway, let's go forward. So it says from, from a reggae album, now they have Third Eye Reggae Band. I don't really know of these Third Eye Reggae Bands. Right, roots and culture. You know, because open season right here, ones jump into this. They like the music, like the lots, they like the herb, they like the colors, so forth and so on. Right? So this is some the reggae of Ra. Oh, excuse me, reggae of Ra. I don't see that on the title. Is that the interpretation? Like the interpretation up here? You know, saying some so-called hidden words. This is blasphemy. This is slander. This is slander, brothers and sisters. This is slander right here. All right? Um... Now, if we go further down, let's, let's try to go through this at a lively pace because it's going to connect with what we already addressed before. They kind of expanded the article with even more nonsense. It says, no Babylon, no Bob Marley. But Bob Marley spoke against Babylon. What about the, the song we talk about, oh, pirate, just a rabbi? What about the slavery? You understand? What about the oppression? You understand? What about these, these areas? They don't deal with that. Now, this one says, gematria. Right, gematria is the use of these dual purpose alphabets for calculating numerical values of words and phrases to find identical numerical values. What's your name, fella? You understand? What's your name? Let, let us go through your name for a moment, whoever wrote this article. Now they say the English gematria calculators. See, they give it a fancy name so you believe, like, oh, this is really some science. You understand? This is bogus. You understand? Know, this is bogus science here. It, they have R, period, Bob Marley, right? And then it says equal 666. Mm hmm. Are you picking up on this? You understand? Know, I, I wish some of the family can, you know, maybe make some suits on these kind of individuals out here. Because this is, this, this is really some blasphemy. I mean, even when people say um, Ronald Wilson Reagan, at least Ronald Wilson um, Reagan, right? At least his name is. Six letters, and you can say, okay, it's kind of childish right there, but kind of makes some sense. Let's look at his fruit. Now, right here it says R. Bob Marley. R. Bob Marley. What, what, what's going on here? Why don't you put Robert? Because then it would not calculate. They have Robert here, they put Reggae here, and they put Rasta there. Like there's some sort of science, like R, R, R equals 666. Six, six. What kind of nonsense is this? You understand? It, it, is, it is strictly nonsense. 
You understand? Because R obviously is 108, is 108, and that's 9 right here. And 9 is the highest single numeral number in the galaxy. But we're not, we don't want to, you know, teach this one here. We want to break down the fact that they don't know the lesson. So they go through all this rambo mumbo jumbo, and then they say the following report. So they put this out like, oh wow, this is, you know, you know, when you see this page, you're like, oh, they really are they really using the word? Is the word really guiding them? You understand? Is, is scripture really guiding them? Let's see. So we already pointed out a couple of things that are errata or errors. Now they say right here in First John, who is a liar but he that denies that Jesus is the Christ. He is the Antichrist that denies the Father and the Son. In fact, this page here denies the Father and the Son. This whole site right here, or overall, especially where the person writes the articles, they have other people's works linked on the side, so forth and so on. But they say that the following documented conversation took place between Marley and his mom, in which Marley so-called converted his mom from Christianity to Rastafari. And quote, it says, during this U.S. tour in 1975, Bob paid a visit to his mother in Delaware for a couple of days. This time, Bob had clearly um, decided to instruct her fully in Rastafari. Bob tell me that his majesty is the almighty God. If not Jesus, no more. Right? I'm said, I'm said, I'm said, well, we reason, you know, Mama, why is it so hard for you to believe me when I say his majesty is God? Because from the time you are a little girl growing up, you hear talking about Jesus Christ. You go to church and you're into it. But today I'm come in a new name. No Jesus Christ no more. Right? No, and that's from Adrian Boot, um, um, Chris uh, Selowich, and, and so forth and so on, of freedom, so forth and so on. I'm, I'm moving through this at a lively pace because I want to touch on some of the main points right here. So let's look up right here in the Bible, right? Let's look up in this Bible search, um, new name, right? Let's look up new name, right? Let's look up new name in the Bible, right? And if you have your red letter Bible, get your red letter Bible, right? Mm-hmm. So here we go right here. We're in the blue letter Bible, and let's go down here. Okay, we see in Revelation, right? We see in Revelation. Well, first let's go to Isaiah, Isaiah 62 and 2. It says, The Gentiles shall see thy righteousness in all kings thy glory, and thou shalt be called by a new name. What? Called by a new name. God's people, the once lost but now found black sheep of the Beta Israel, which the mouth of the Lord, of he who is who he is, he who be who he be, shall name. All right? Okay? Revelation 2 and 17. If you look in, if you look in your red letter Bible, you see this is red letter. They tell us, they taught us that the red letter is when Jesus is speaking, right? When Christ is speaking. So it says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna. Right? The hidden manna. Remember the Israelites in the wilderness? We're in the wilderness of North America. And honorable Elijah Muhammad already laid that out. And we should recognize that if we are spiritual. You understand? And will give him a white stone, and in the stone a what? A new name. Right? He has an ear to hear. Obviously, this one to do the Torah code page and have an ear to hear. A new name written which no man knoweth save he that receiveth it. So if you don't receive it, you don't get it. You know this? Okay, let's go to 3 and 12, right? 3 and 12 says this right here. It says, Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. Remember, it's Christ speaking here according to the interpretation and according to the Red Letter Bible, right? Make a, make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. So it's not the Jerusalem here on earth, but it's the Jerusalem that cometh down out of heaven from my God, like the Rock Healing Churches in La Labella. We overstand and there was the eleven or so other or the or the ten or so other churches in that particular area, right? Um, it says right here, but here's the key thing raised right? and I will write upon him, right, my new name. I will write upon him what? My new name. This is where Aras the Father gets this from. Now, you have to over that the same one in the previous vid where they try to say that Jah come from Jabalan, I mean strictly an idiot. You understand, know talking about the, 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 the word, the Bible, and they're quoting the Bible over here. You understand, know they, are, they are quoting bull, and they want you to buy it. 
you know what I'm saying, as though you're not going to go check it out. So that talk about Jesus no more or Jesus Christ no more is already the new name. He says, I'm come in a new name. You know what I'm saying? Scripturally, I'm coming a new name. We just showed you that right there. So rewind the vid. You know what I'm saying? Because we're trying to um, redeem the time that we have here in this. Now, Second Peter 2 and 14 says, Having eyes full of adultery that cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls, and a heart they have exercised of covetous practices, cursed children. So they're cursing I and I. These ones are cursing I and I. Rastafari. Be wise, be awake, watch and pray, right? Here the quote is, quote, in an interview given in 1975, he declared his opinion on marriage plainly. Me never believe in marriage that much. Marriage is a trap to control me, right? Okay, he said that in an interview. Okay, so, so, so what about that? I mean, you hear a lot of Christians say that even today. Look at America. America has some of the biggest divorce rates, you understand, in the whole entire so-called civilized European world. Now it says, he says this individual, he or she or whatever they be, you understand, said that Bob Marley was possessed by spirits, right? Now, Bob Marley said this to Stephen Davis, according to Stephen Davis, on page um, 148, that the devil come and me shake hands with the devil. Devil has his part to play. Devil's a good friend, too. You know, the devil's talking about the white man. As he's talking about right there, whether Chris Whitewell, Blackwell, or whatever kind of well he is, you understand? Farewell. You understand? He's talking about that one right there when he said the devil come and he shake hands with the devil. Right? Now, to see more of the interview, so forth and so on. Now, the one says, Bob Marley is a fool idiot, a fool idol. Right? A fool idol. Let's bring up that page where um, Bob Marley here is, you know, we can see him married right here. He says, of course, children are wonderful. I don't take plenty, you know. It's just a nice girl who don't have birth control. Sexual intercourse is a lovely thing. This is the words of a legend, the words of Bob Marley. You know, I mean, what's wrong with that? There ain't nothing wrong with that. So we see how we're being blasphemed, brothers and sisters, right? I mean, this is a continual blasphemy. You probably find some other pages out there. So they decided to make a statue here in Jamaica, right? And this one is not worshiping. He's not bowing down to it. You understand? But, but this is what these people want to, want to say. All right, we got a couple more minutes, and this is another one. So now they quote Deuteronomy 5 and 8. You must not make for yourself an idol of any kind or an image of any kind in the heaven or on the earth in the, or in the sea. You understand? I mean, what are they talking about? This is just a statuary that nobody bowing down, nobody worship, worshiping it. What are some of their practice, uh, what are some of their preaching of lies? So they've already come out with a certain point of view. Let's touch on this right here. The Babylon Rasta, they worship Hila Selassie. The what? Babylon Rasta? We're chanting now in Babylon. See, the person's a fool. This is a real fool right here, right? They worship Hila Selassie, who is Tafari Makani, right? Or Tefari Mekonin, right? The king of, 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 of Ethiopia.